Hi, welcome to this overview of Integration Gateway. My name is Scott McReynolds, and I'll be taking you on our journey today. So what I'd like to discuss is how to successfully implement integration strategies in the Guideware Cloud. In order for a developer to be successful with this, they must understand the Integration Gateway architecture. The Cloud Integration Framework has evolved in order to make it easier to perform integrations. These include Cloud APIs that are inbound to Ensure and Suite via the system APIs. They include app events, where now applications can subscribe to particular events, maybe it's a policy creation or a new claim, and consume those events without any code required at all. Second is the REST client, where now inside of Insurance Suite, I can make a call to an external REST application. Next is Integration Gateway, which is the focus of this discussion which allows applications on both sides of the integration pattern to be developed. And last is our data suite, which allows for increased reporting and information throughout the entire information system architecture. The design principle of Integration Gateway is a separation of duties. Now, inside of the insurance suite application, say Policy Center, you can focus on the creation of your line of business and the ability, the ability to create submissions. Or, on the integration side, now the integration developer can focus strictly on the logic to develop their integration code. This can be things such as point-to-point -point integrations. This could be publish and subscribe. This architecture allows for a number of different things. First of all, by being independent, now each track can be performed independently, they can be tested independently, and they can be deployed independently. This provides greater flexibility and business agility. Second, it provides for better standardization. Now we give standards directly on how we want to develop insurance suite applications and a different set of standards if necessary or how we develop our integration code. And last, it reduces the GOSU code. There's only GOSU code now inside of the insurance suite application or integration logic can now be developed using Java. Integration Gateway runs as a service on top of the Guidewire Cloud platform. So what does that mean? That means it is now the bridge between the insurance suite application and the external application. It is the recommended approach when you're doing integrations between insurance suite and external applications as well. Integration Gateway is also built on top of Apache Camel. So what does that mean? That means we get all the functionality of Apache Camel. So as an integration developer, I can focus on my integration logic and not things such as how to connect to an S3 bucket or to an SQSQ. In addition, Integration Gateway runs as a microservice. So what does that mean? Well, because it runs as a microservice, I now can focus on each individual application independently. I can troubleshoot each integration independently, and I can manage each one independently. Thus, if one integration goes down, it does not take my entire application down. I simply can take down that one integration point, fix the problem, and come back. Let's talk for a second about how we can mediate our integrations using Integration Gateway. So the first example is an inbound client that needs to talk to a system API. So the example I'm going to use is, let's say I need to create a, a new submission on Policy Center. Well, the inbound client can provide the information needed to create the submission. Integration Gateway can call all the appropriate APIs inside of Policy Center and then return back the new policy number to our external system. Or maybe I have an external system that needs to list, listen for changes to a claim. Well, with app events, I can publish those changes as they occur. Integration Gateway can pick them up, maybe format them to a new data format and send them to the external system. And then last but not least, maybe I need to have my integration or my, I'm sorry, my insurance suite application call an external system. Well, in that case, let's say it's a fraud score, Claim Center can make a request the integration gateway, get the fraud score from the external system. The external system can provide back that fraud score and return it to Claim Center. Again, now we've got the separation of duties between the business logic inside of our integration, inside of our insurance suite applications, and the core integration logic inside of Integration Gateway. So let's take a look at some of the capabilities of Integration Gateway. First is connectivity. We can now quickly connect to a REST API, an SQSQ, or an S3 bucket. This is because they're pre-built with Apache Camel. I, as an integration developer, again, 
can simply focus on the integration logic needed to perform the set of functionality. Next, is it is a secure proto protocol. It supports many different types of authentication, including web services and auth. I can transform data very quickly from different formats. So I could go from a JSON format to an XML format, from a CSV format to an XML format. Um, and again, this is all part of being built on top of Apache Camel and being able to utilize the functionality built into Apache Camel. In addition, we have different types of orchestrations. We can do both inbound and outbound functionality to Guidewire. We can have one way and request response functionality. I can support both synchronous and asynchronous functionality. I can do both real time and batch processing, and I can support most enterprise integration patterns. So let's look at some examples of some of the core patterns you would have during integration. First, let's talk about synchronous patterns. One could be an outbound proxy that needs to provide information. So this could be something such as pre-filling an auto policy, providing an address lookup, or retrieving a document. I could have an inbound gateway, or maybe I need to do something such as call claim center, process an FNOL, and get back a claim number. I could have an asynchronous process. This could be one way. Um, processing where I need to publish a possible policy or a claim event via app events. I can have an outbound with a callback. This could be again our fraud score example, where I need to call an external fraud system. The external fraud system provides me back a score. This is going to be an asynchronous process because it's going to go to the external system. The external system is going to process it and return back the results. I could have a one way process that's inbound. Maybe this is the reporting of a glass claim or I could have an outbound with a callback. This could be something where I need to perform a batch process inside of the application and return back the results. So let me take a few minutes to, again, recap the benefits of Integration Gateway. First, I can now evolve my integration app separately of my insurance suite applications. Each one now has a separation of concerns between the functionality of my insurance suite application and the integration code in Integration Gateway. Also, it improves the productivity of my integration developers because integration developers don't have to worry about the low-level code to connect to many different objects. Because Integration Gateway is built on Apache Camel, Apache Camel provides a lot of the infrastructure for me. It also improves the standardization between how my integration apps are going to be built and how my insurance suite applications are going to be built. And finally, it allows me to scale both the ability to create my applications because now each integration application is a separate application, not one behemoth like it was before. I can also now very targetedly look at each integration and see how it's performing and deal with issues around that integration separately. I can troubleshoot items faster because I can now focus on each integration separately. I can look at the logs of each integration separately. And finally, I can have better fault tolerance. If one of my integration apps were to fail, it's not going to take my entire insurance suite application down. It's only going to take that one integration app down. I can take that integration app, everything else within my ecosystem runs as if nothing occurred. So I hope I've been able to show you how our integration apps have evolved with our insurance suite lifecycle via Integration Gateway. If you happen to have any additional questions, or you'd like to learn more about Integration Gateway, you can go to education.guidewire.com. We have a number of courses that allow you to learn more about not only Integration Gateway, but our other integration patterns and our insurance suite applications. Thank you and take care.